Hello reformers and welcome back to the last days and our elf playthrough. Now when we last left off we picked up a task to go and tackle a couple of raging trolls and this is going to be pretty easy because well we have archers and <laughs> amusingly enough the battle advantage is 64. I mean really how how crazy can you get? Now we do have a couple of max level archers now because it has obviously been a bit of time since I last recruited new units and I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go over to Thranduil's halls relatively soon and we're going to place a couple in the reserves there couple of high tier ones and then we're going to take out the Dale units and probably give them over to Dale like one of you suggested actually that seems like a good idea to me because that will help out Dale a little bit and it will give us a little bit of extra space and uh, otherwise we've now we've now done that I've only killed two of these I don't know whether I'm going to be able to do this Lady Galadriel that's going to be kind of bad and uh, oh look at this we need to hunt down a fugitive at Wood Elf West Camp oh yeah I think there was actually a comment that said that Wood Elf West Camp is currently under siege and it is it is under siege I missed that I missed that in the previous episode so what we're going to do is just take a quick look here Haldir has asked us to do that there's no limit on that no time limit so I don't need to worry about it so far. Muriel, also, I need to speak to. And Elro here needs me to go to Wood Elf West Camp. So I suppose I'm going to rush over there as quickly as possible. And we'll see whether we can get there in time. I'm a bit worried about it, actually, because I don't know how long it has been under siege. And uh, I know that in my Uruk series, the Wood Elf West Camp was one of the first fiefs to go down in the north. So I'm a bit worried about it, to be honest. And look at this, Mirkwood Elves, one of the lords, was defeated. And there's a Mordor war party right there with 155 units in. That's pretty crazy. Oh, never mind. Oh, there's the king. There's the king. He did his, he did his duty in defending. And it seems like it's absolutely fine. 178 still there. All right, that's great. There's a couple of dwarves here as well, and uh, what I'd like to find is King Thranduil. Where did he go? Oh no. Did he really Did he really escape my attention? Because uh, unfortunately I do have a quest for him. It seems like a couple of other elves are being defeated now as well, which is kind of weird. Mm, okay, well, it seems like Rohan is having some problems. I actually did want to go down there, but now I've gone all the way back up, so it's kind of defeated the whole purpose. But it seems like I have no idea where King Thranduil has gone. Ooh, it seems like Esgaroth is now under siege as well. Okay, so as long as we can help the northern factions, that is something that we really do need to do. We need to make sure that the northern factions do not get themselves killed. And then once that is a little bit more stable, we can go down to Rohan and we can help out there. And of course, we do have to help out Gondor too. Now, Gondor obviously is... Well, currently having some problems. I mean, let's face it, they are up against it. They do have huge amounts of orcs and uruks wanting to take a bite out of them, so to speak, in many ways, more ways than one. And uh, yeah, at least we have now found Muriel, and I can say that I've rescued four allied prisoners. Actually, I've done more than that, actually, but oh well, never mind, that's fine. And there's 32 rank points. Do you have anything else for me? Are you sure you don't have anything else? Okay, apparently you don't. That's kind of sad. Oh well, never mind. Okay, so King Thranduil's nowhere in sight. And uh, speaking of him, I'm actually going to go into the barracks real quick and review my station soldiers. So as you can see, I have two royal marksmen here and one royal warden. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do that again. And we're just going to put the royal warden in there. And we're going to put the Royal Marksman in there as well, and we're just going to take the Dale units out. And we're probably going to place them in Esgaroth's garrison to help them out a little bit here. And uh, I don't think I have any other max level units as far as I'm aware. If I have any other max level units and I miss them, then that's just how it has to be. But it seems like that is not the case. No, it seems like that's all good. All right. So I'm going to get some more volunteers here. Let's get some more scouts. Let's get a whole bunch of them because we do need to level them up a little bit. And we're going to go over to Esgaroth and see what's going on there. Hopefully we're going to be able to defend a messenger arriving. Uh, oh no, that is not good at all. Okay, so Lothlorien might be losing one of their towns. Master Fuenor is pretty good at what he does. So if that indeed happens, there's King Thranduil. Actually, stop please, stop please, Mr. King. Uh... 
And Wood Elf West Camp has also been besieged. Okay, I think we're probably going to have to leave Esgroth the way it is because I need to defend Wood Elf West Camp. I really do not want that to be taken by a Gundabad Lord. Uh, wow, this is Liege versus Liege right here. As far as, as far as I'm aware, Master Berza is actually the Liege of Gundabad, and obviously we know who King Thranduil is. Anyway, uh, hmm. This is kind of a problem. Okay, let's just see actually what happens a little bit here. Seems like King Thranduil will lose this. He will lose this if I do not intervene. I guess we're going to have to intervene, aren't we? Let's do it. Alright, so we're going to help him out. 117 against 213, but we do have some amazing units. We are unfortunately in the forest once again, and that is going to cause us a great deal of a headache. So let's see if uh, maybe I can just do something here. Maybe we can just fire away a little bit. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. If I can do just some damage, that's all I really need. Just a little bit of damage here and there. But uh, unfortunately, as you can see by the battle map, the absolute wave of orcs coming towards us is very intimidating indeed. And I uh, wouldn't be surprised if many of our units lose morale as a result of the sight before them. I mean, really, it's just crazy. Okay, so if I can just continue to fire away here and do a good job in terms of our accuracy, I think we'll be fine. But saying that, I'm a bit worried. I just shot someone in the face. I'm so sorry. Well, that, that happens, I guess. I, I find it weird to believe that uh, no one in the history of the Lord of the Rings, no one has no one has actually shot some of their people by mistake. I'm actually getting murdered. Absolutely getting murdered right here. Wow. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to run back a little bit. I am literally... Look at me. I am filled with arrows. Absolutely filled with arrows. And this warg is going to kill me. This warg is literally going to kill me. I hope not. He, it did. It did kill me. That is hilarious, I gotta say. That is absolutely hilarious. Okay. Well, I can only hope that our forces will be able to survive. Or maybe we will have to retreat here. Okay, you know what? We're going to retreat, and we're going to go back in. Actually, no. It seems like we can't go back in. There's only 10 of our troops remaining against the enemy's 134. It seems we lost a lot more than I anticipated. That's crazy. Okay, so it seems like King Thranduil will be defeated, which is certainly not something we wanted, but there's not much more I could have done. I guess I can level up these guys. Wow, that is very, very harsh indeed, but, well, that's just how it goes. At least we stopped him from potentially besieging Wood Elf West Camp. And that means that I might have the opportunity, yeah, I know, the might of the Mirkwood Elves has diminished. That's awful. It is absolutely awful. But I'm going to go to Esgaroth. It seems like Lothalorian has stopped having a besiege going on. Wood Elf Camp. Where's the wood? There's the wood elf camp, all the way down there. Okay, so that's being besieged by Rune as well. This is very bad indeed. And it seems like, wow, okay, it seems like we are now going to be picked on by a couple of goblins. And that is really not very nice. I mean, we have actually, we, we actually have someone on our side? We have someone on our side right here. We have a, uh, a Dale vassal. Oh, no, no, we have actually someone from Rivendell here. That's amazing. Okay, thanks very much for assistance. That's that's amazing. Okay, I was not aware that anyone was close by. That's really great. Okay, I actually got myself eliminated by a warg once again. Isn't that annoying? That's very annoying indeed. Okay, so we've eliminated enough for us to be able to disengage or not, as the case may be. Okay, well, I'm alive again, I guess. I actually thought that I would be able to disengage if I eliminated a couple of people, but apparently that's not the case here. Guess I'm just going to do a little bit of damage here. See if I can. I'm going to try and be a little bit sneakier this time in, in terms of what I'm actually shooting at. And, uh, you know, try and prevent ourselves from dying earlier on. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Come on now, Warg. Leave me alone, yeah? <laughs> oh, no. That is absolutely terrible. Okay, I'm dealing some damage, but I'm not really dealing any damage to important units right now. Yep, there we go. There's an important unit. There's another one, and I... Yes, I got eliminated, because I only have one HP. And my leg has been badly maimed, apparently. So I've lost two athletics, two agility, one riding skill, 
and a little bit of other things, but that's okay. I don't really mind too much about that, but it really just there's there's nothing nothing really for me to do. We we have lost this. Yeah, is this your end? Well, time has passed. I did lose a couple of things. I lost a Lorian Archer Helm and... What? Our companion has left? Apparently one of our companions has left. That is absolutely terrible. And uh, apparently they stole my armor as well. Well, that's not very nice. I still have Luvana here, so at least we do have some wound treatment still. I'm actually unsure where Faniel would have gone to then. That's very strange. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to just try my best to get around then. And we're going to be a little bit sneaky here. I'm going to try and get back to Thranduil's Halls because I do have a couple of high-level units there. And it might make sense for us to get those high-level units out and uh, see what we can do. Uh, hmm, well, this is this is a big turn of events, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to get these scouts and we're just going to get everyone, basically. And then we will get our Royal Wardens and Royal Marksmen out because they're going to need to assist us quite a bit and I'm going to need to buy some supplies as well because I don't have any food remaining wow this is quite the, quite the setback isn't it quite the setback and let's see if I can maybe find a nice helm I actually don't even have that much money I have a very very small amount of money right now so it's 1923 I could technically buy the light quilted surcoat, which is basically all I can afford. I, can, I guess I can just trade a couple of pieces of metal scraps for that. And I guess we can now move on. Those guys are going to run away because we are now more powerful than they are. And that is no longer under siege. So me attempting to get over there is pointless. Let's have a look at the Wood Elf camp. That is still under siege. Okay, I guess we're going to try and make our way over there then. Or not, as the case may be, because it seems like a pack of Gundabad patrols has decided to interrupt us. And uh, we're going to try and do our best here. Thankfully, we're not in the forest. Amusingly enough, the forest seems to be an absolute death trap for elves. Not entirely sure why that would be, but it is. And uh, we need to be more careful when we are walking through there, that's for sure. And I'm just going to try, as I've said, to try and take out their mounts, I guess, because... The wargs are dangerous, the horses can be used multiple times, so obviously making sure that that's not the case is a good idea. And we're doing pretty nicely right here, we're doing pretty well. This guy is going to hopefully have his shield destroyed, yeah there we are. Nice, okay so now we just have a couple of these guys hit that one and hit that one. Whoa, that was some sniping right there, Bertildian. Have you started to actually, you know, fight things properly? <laughs> ah, well, there you go. That was actually pretty nice. Otherwise, there you go. That is good. Uh, dwarves. I'm not going to be taking dwarves, as I've said. That's just not the theme that I'm going for here. And uh, we're going to continue to move down to the Wood Elf camp. Hopefully, I'll be able to avoid being pursued by other people. Look at this. This is just crazy. Everyone's after us so much and I have no money. I literally don't have any money anymore. That is awful. Okay, well, I guess I'll just have to do my best. All right, so I did actually neglect to go over here to the Wood Elf West Camp to take care of a suspicious elf. And that's exactly what we're going to do here because we are going to be traveling back to Lothalorian territory. It seems like the Wood Elf Camp is no longer under siege either. So it seems like they are on the brink of fully committing to these sieges. But then at the last minute, they just back out. So in other words, let's do this and see if we can complete a couple more tasks. I'm going to try and shoot him in the face. And there we go. Not too bad. Oh, that seems pretty painful, doesn't it? Okay, thankfully, we can now head onward. And I think I'm going to try and see if I can get a couple more. Oh, nice. Some veteran scouts. Let's get some infantry as well. I'm actually kind of sad that we don't have Fanny Yule anymore because she was our medic. And uh, it's pretty, pretty painful indeed to not have her anymore. But, ah, look at this. A Lothalorian patrol is fighting... Actually, I think, is that the liege? Is that the liege of of Rune? If that's the liege of Rune, then uh, this, is, this is pretty good. 71 against 42, I think we'll be okay. I think we should be fine here. So let's see what we're able to do. Uh, I'm going to just 
tell everyone to spread out. I mean, that's basically what we need to do. Let's move our infantry a little bit closer, actually, so that uh, our archers don't have to really worry about things too much. And we're just going to make sure that our archers are in the best possible positions. Let's actually tell them to... Hmm, should we tell them to stand closer a little bit? Let's tell them to stand closer just a little. That might help them out. Not too much, but just a little bit. There we go. All right. So now let us let me try and fire at some of these enemies here, and maybe I can get a little bit of experience. Ooh, nice. We actually did get a kill right there with a shot difficulty of 7.4. Not bad. Not bad for this early, early on. It's not really that early on in the game, is it? It's kind of early on, I guess. But we are, we are using a pretty amazing bow, so I suppose it shouldn't be too amazing to think of that. Oh, oh, hello there. You're going to die. Oh yes, that was the liege himself. He's not going to be very pleased and he's going to wake up with a headache. Because obviously he is going to be knocked unconscious. Unfortunately we can't decide whether we execute them or not. And it is just a percentage chance whether some of the lords actually get themselves killed. And it seems like we do have a couple of others running towards us straight up here, which is really quite easy for us to eliminate because they don't have shields. You know, not having shields is a very nice thing for us. And if they do have shields, hopefully they'll be destroyed pretty quickly. Oh, there we go. Not too bad. All right. So that was a victory for us, and hopefully a, a, a little bit, you know, not too much, a little bit of you know, rank points and some influence with Lothlorien at 12 rank points, not too bad, that's great. And we do have a couple of Dale here, so I guess what I'm going to do is I will take Dale, but I'm not a big fan of taking any other units apart from Elves at the moment, so I, I don't know, maybe we'll let them go if we find some more Elven units or something like that. All right, so good quality metal scraps, pretty nice. And uh, now we can move onward. Okay, so we do need to still find King Thranduil. Amusingly enough, I don't know why we didn't speak to him before, but uh, we still need to find him. And uh, at least we have now done that quest to hunt down Nerwin of Osgiliath. Elro here was the one to give us that. And King Thranduil there. And also Haldir. Okay, so that's that's pretty good. No one, uh, no one's been eliminated just yet, as you can see, in the north, with the exception of one of the dwarven bases. So that's not a big deal, I suppose. Not too, too bad. A lot of Moria scouts around here. Bjornings, ah, that probably would have been pretty good for me to help over there, but unfortunately, I noticed it a bit too late. And let's see if we can find a couple of Rivendell people here. Ah, Elro here is here. That is great. Okay, yes. Elro here is here. Yes, exactly. Okay, so let's go to the main square and speak to him. He's obviously going to be very pleased that we were able to complete his task. You look suspiciously like Lord Elrond. Do you have something to tell us? Yes, well, anyway. I gave him his punishment. Give me that 52 rank points. Very nice. Okay, do you have anything else? Will you train some troops for me? Yes, I would be happy to do that, but I'm going to go in the arena to do that. Because, personally, doing it in the arena is much, much easier for me. And, uh, well, maybe it's going to be easier on them as well. Let's see. For some reason, the text log is no longer there. I don't exactly know why that is. I don't have a very good power strike, so it is obviously going to take me a little bit of time to defeat these fellows. Seems like just swiping from the sides is usually the way to go, because overheads are probably going to take a little bit too long to come out, because... Whoa, look at that guy. He's actually sitting down. Really? Okay, well, there you go. We did that. Easy enough. And that is actually one of the best missions, in my opinion, because it is just so simple and very, very easy. And then you will be able to get a big amount of rank points as well. Look at that. 224 rank points for training troops. And in such an easy way. Really, really easy way. I like that. I like that quite a bit. You've been promoted to Faithful Ally. I'd like to find Elrond and ask him if he uh, has any special items for us. I think that'd be pretty cool. Who's this? Do you have any tasks for me? Are you sure? Apparently he doesn't have any tasks for us. That's sad. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so let's continue onward. And uh, maybe we can find Haldir. Maybe he's chilling. Yes, he is actually chilling in there. Okay, so he's actually come out now. Because we, we said that we, we accused him of chilling, and he obviously does not like that. There you go, there's 160 rank points, and we are now a great hope of Lothalorian, which is really nice. We've advanced level 24, Luvana is 11. So, 
With the amount of drama that has happened so far in this episode, it's really nice that later on we're actually doing a pretty decent job and not doing too badly, at least at the moment. And hopefully we won't get ourselves defeated once again because that was, that was pretty painful. So let me see if I can catch up to Celeborn right here. Oh, look at that! Mordor. All of the Mordor vassals have been eliminated. Wow. Well, not all of them, but most of them by the looks of things. I wonder what actually happened there. They probably tried to take something extremely dangerous for them. Yeah, was it was it Pelagia? I think it was Pelagia, probably. But yes, look at that. The forces of Gondor have rallied. It's nice that they've actually rallied because that's a bit worrying for them to be on average strength this early on in the game because with our Uruk series, we did not see Gondor go down past strong for quite some time. So it seems like they were doing a pretty reasonable job of things. Ah, and it seems like Troll Cave has... Ah... Okay, okay, so we either, we, hmm, we have a bit of a decision to make right here. I'm not entirely sure which decision to really make, because we can either decide to go and try and find King Thranduil, or we can go and help at the siege. I think everyone wants to go and see the siege, right? Yeah, I think that's probably the case. Anyway, let's have a look at what's going on here. Lothlorien is fighting Moria, and personally, I feel like Moria is a little bit easier than Gundabad because Gundabad does have those skirmishers that are really quite accurate. Let's see what we can do here though. Uh, you know, on on the one hand, I'm thinking, are we going to get Faniol back? Because if we get Faniol back, then we will be able to have our medic skills back in action. But if we don't, then it would be a good idea to make Luvana into some kind of medic. So I think I'm actually going to do that. I'm, I'm just going to get her two points in surgery. Because I like to try and prevent units from dying. And that's that's exactly what that's going to do. So hopefully that will help us out a little bit. And otherwise we're going to improve our charisma. Once again. Uh, it might make sense for me to actually get trainer skill. But mm, maybe not. Okay so yeah we're just going to level up leadership once again. Because that is in my opinion really quite useful. Especially considering... We're using elves, and they're kind of expensive, I suppose. And uh, we're now going in. 324 against 460. Now, bear in mind that this is an absolutely fantastic area that we have just spawned into. This is really, really good. Apparently, morale of our troops is wavering. I can rally. There we go. I'm rallying us. So, hopefully that's going to help. I have no idea why these elves are running in. Please don't run in too much. You're going to get yourselves killed. Oh no, that is really quite bad. Okay, well I guess the best thing that I can do is try to support them as much as possible. I do have about 20 units on the battlefield here. And wow, you see how many our enemies have? They have 131. We have about 50. So they are basically 3 to 1-ing us right now, which is really harsh. Let's see if I'm able to at least kill that warg rider. There we go. Oh, that's a wolf rider, actually. Okay, so maybe I can... Oh, hello there. I would appreciate it if you would not attack me again. Thanks. Oh, there's Whipsnog. He's dead. And uh, hopefully his warg... Oh, no, no, kill kill the warg, please. Kill the warg. Otherwise, it's going to absolutely murder me. Oh, hello. Oh, thank you. Okay, it seems like I'm being, I'm being helped from all sides right now, which is kind of amusing in itself, because it reminds me of various... Various things in Lord of the Rings itself, anyway. The movies, anyway. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, hmm. I think we probably need to be a bit careful now because I have been told that the Orc Chieftains, they're very good at what they do. If they raise their shields up, if they raise their shields up, they're going to be extremely difficult to kill. And uh, I'm a bit dreading that. So let's see what I can do here. I... Oh, no. This is, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Okay. I guess I'm just going to have to try and shoot as many of them as I can. A banner carrier, really, yes. Uh, Royal Swordsman's been eliminated? No, that is really quite bad. Okay, I'm going to get out my sword here. Maybe clear out a couple of these guys, if I can. Thankfully, these are not exactly difficult to eliminate. 
actually pretty easy, and I really wish I had the Mirkwood Sword right now, because as far as I'm aware, there is a Mirkwood Sword that you can get at a high rank with Mirkwood, and that apparently is the same, same kind of damage as the Nazgul Sword, and the Nazgul Sword is just amazing. It's really great. So it would be kind of nice for us to get something like that. Whoa, is that... That's Master Bog the Lesser. That is a troll, and that is a goblin coming towards me. Oh, really? Can't believe I missed that. I really should have... You know, you know it's that thing where they're, they're shorter than you think. And then as soon as they, you know, as soon as they get close to you, you're kind of like, Oh, i got to change my trajectory and everything. Uh, okay, so let's, let's see if I can... Oh, hello. Okay, they're getting a bit frightened. By the looks of things. There we go. A little bit of damage here. Okay, we cannot allow them to run into our lines so freely. It seems like we're doing okay, though. Oh, the cave trolls. The cave trolls. Focus on them. Please. Focus on the cave troll. Yep, there we go. Okay, that's one down. There's a headshot. Oh, yeah. 130 damage headshot to the cave troll. Fantastic. Am I being shot? I'm being shot from over there by the large goblins. That's great. I'm just going to continue moving every so often. And I'm just going to continue shooting, moving, shooting, moving. If this warg will leave me alone. Thanks. Whoa, that's a, that's a lot of enemies. That's a lot of enemies. Okay, we're going to have to move back. Okay, come on guys, let's let's go back. Yeah, everyone is in a bad position. Everyone is in an absolutely awful position. Hopefully my allies will come to help us out a little bit. I'm going to try and rally our troops so that they do not run away. Seems like none of them have routed so far, so that's all that I really need to know. And I only have 20 arrows remaining, which is kind of bad. But we're going to do our best. And I do have a pretty decent melee weapon, so if push comes to shove, I'm going to have to get in there and do some, do some damage. Yes, finally killed that guy, okay. Had to spend like, what, seven arrows on him? Yeah, these wargs coming into our lines are certainly making all the difference in how good the enemies currently are getting it because these wargs are able to do so much uh, they're able to do damage too, you know, so, you know, apart from the disruption of them, they're also able to do all kinds of other things, like 15 damage and things. They did 15 damage to me last time when we were up against them, so that's pretty impressive. I'm going to try and use the last of my arrows to eliminate the cave trolls, because they are obviously going to be some of the more difficult things to deal with. And otherwise, I'm just going to tell all our units to charge in here. It seems like we don't have much choice otherwise, so I'm going to have to get in and do some damage with my sword. Wow, that was a lot of damage. That's a piercing weapon this guy's using. He's using a mining pick. That is a piercing weapon. Really, really harsh damage. Seems like we're doing okay so far, though, at defending the line here. And going into melee seems to be the last resort for us. Wow, taking a lot of damage as well. Even though I am an elf with a big amount of HP, it's not really doing for so much for us. As essentially, look at look at this, though. The amount of losses that the enemy is having is just... It doesn't matter to them. It doesn't matter at all because they can literally get this back in a matter of days. And that is crazy. And that's exactly the, the point, I suppose. Because what the mod is trying to, you know, convey to everyone playing, you know, it, it's trying to convey that the forces of evil do have near unlimited amounts of troops. And uh, that's scary. That's a scary, scary thing indeed. So let's see if I can maybe tackle a couple of people here. And there's some trolls. Okay, hello trolls. Goodbye. Okay, so arrows. There's some more arrows. Can you? Can, can I have some more? Oh no, apparently I can't have some more because I was killed by a warg. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, well, at the very least, we did a lot of damage. Look at that. We did a lot of damage. Our allies have only lost about... 90 units and we've only lost about 30 but most of our people were killed which is really quite bad but the enemy has lost 330 so that is a really really nice thing indeed as you can see the Lothlorien outnumbers the enemy by 
a good amount now instead of being outnumbered. And that means we will be able to eliminate them. But for this episode, that will be it. Next time we'll finish up this battle and then we'll see where we go after that. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.